the thank you everybody for coming. I think we're ready to go, and thank, thank you. And we're going to play um, the inter. Going to premiere the intergalactic suite, which is uh, partly tongue in cheek because this songs were not uh, conceived of to be a, a unit, but I realized that they have titles that refer to uh, the Earth and outer space and things like that. So they thought these songs kind of belong together, and uh, the. Uh, so we're going to give it a try. And the, uh, the first one, uh, this song is called Sea Shanty. And it's, uh, let's say a little bit about it because it, nice, it has a nice little story. It, uh, I was on a, a vacation in, in, in Maine, a family trip, and I had a dream. And I, like, in the dream, I got, uh, heard a song. Like sometimes that happens, you hear something, and then I thought, I want to uh, get that. I didn't have any instrument except this. And it was early in the morning, and I, I brought this out into the ocean. And I stood in the ocean and, and tried to remember the song mm. that I heard in my dreams. But uh, I couldn't do it. And it uh, but I, uh, while I was out there trying and messing around, I came up with something else. So that's the song came out of that. And we're going to, uh, Peter Concilio, Tim Gilmore, thank you for coming, and thank you for learning my songs, which I'm um, overjoyed and uh, I've thought about it this week a bunch of times. So I'm really uh, elated and uh, inspired. So thank you for, for that effort. And Peter's going to uh, start that song.
Going from the sea to the moon, the next uh, composition that we're going to, part of the suite is called Have You Seen the Moon, which is a tune written in the, I guess that the one we just did was just a few years old, and, but the Have You Seen the Moon is from, I think, the 1970s. Uh, maybe that 19, yeah, I think it was from the 1970s. And it was actually asked, have you seen the moon? As I asked, uh, that's how I remember then. That, yeah, I think it was, I have a son who was born in 1975. And I, when, just when he was starting to notice things, I asked him, uh, he was going to bed, and I asked him, have, had he seen the moon? And I wondered if, uh, and I thought maybe he'd never seen it. Like it might have been the first time, or that he understood the words and that it, you could look at it. So I thought it was a poetic moment. And I uh, was writing this song that reminded me it, it came out at the same time. <laughs> based on that nice Japanese scale. So there we go. Let's see if we can get the right balance. Two, three, four. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
would. <laughs> Thank you. This is tremendous fun. Uh, I don't forget what's next. You know, you're moving along to the uh, uh, intergalactic thing. Uh, the, does anybody know the um, Carina Nebula? Has anybody ever seen pictures of it or know what it is? It's, uh, uh, I'm glad that I have the pleasure of uh, introducing anybody to the Carina Nebula. And it's, uh, I wonder if you could see it without a giant telescope. You can ask at the show tonight. Uh, there is a, uh, it's, um, we, uh, from the Hubble telescope, they took a lot of uh, famous pictures. And one of the most amazing, colorful ones is the Carina Nebula. And it's, uh, they're, they're just so colorful and amazing, you think it's some, like a, somebody dressed it up. You know, it's just, that it couldn't really look like that. But it, it does. And it's, uh, this, this song got named after that. The Colorful Clouds of Carina. Set. One, two, three, one, two.
complicated piece with lots of uh, different like the Korean and Nebula it's uh, they, they, you should all everybody should look that up on their phones or later at tonight yeah <laughs> we're gonna play uh, yeah the next song is called uh, Galaxy Trill which is a little bit of play on words from a place that I go to a lot called Galaxy Hill uh, but it's uh, there's also there's a lot of that stuff yeah, trills <laughs> there are a few chairs in the front if anybody is brave enough to go that far. We've uh, trained the bass player to go. Uh, Thank you. 
<laughs> yeah, also, we came up with uh, surprises. We su fans surprised us. I was surprised. We came up with different ending than we ever did before. So. I was happy about that. The next one we're going to do is, uh, yeah, is uh, I have to say something about that. Uh, it's, it's called Have You Seen the Earth? And then a paragraph, the uh, parentheses, photograph from space. And the song, uh, I was just talking about this before uh, the concert. The uh, in 1969, there was the first time that uh, we saw the moon photographed, uh, have seen the Earth photographed from space. And in case anybody had uh, doubted it or not had the right perspective, they, uh, we now know without question that, uh, that the Earth is alive because it just looks like it is. There's no, you just can't doubt it. It's a, there's a photograph from the moon that I put on the uh, invitation that maybe some of you got. Uh, it's a, for first. Uh, 
This is from 1969. One of the astronauts took a picture of it. You could see part of the moon, and you could see the Earth and the sky. And everything's black, and then there's this blue life ball that's fl flying around. And it's uh, that's uh, and then the, I don't know. I don't know how songs work. Sometimes uh, the the phrase in this song that sounds like "Have you seen the Earth?" and then it goes photograph from space. So it's almost like a little beginning of a lyric kind of thing. I've never got lyrics, but. So that's the story with this song, when the intergalactic suite continues. <laughs> and this, is, this also has an interesting uh, musical, uh, uh, I don't know, factor. Uh, that there's a, a measure of nine, nine beats per measure, and then a measure of seven beats per measure. And that goes through the whole thing. And that's, that's unusual. And, that's, and it, somehow, I think it works. <laughs> you get to judge. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey. Thank you. Yeah, this is, uh, so I got one more in this set. This the instrument sounds good in here. Let's uh, do uh, the last one in this, in the intergalactic suite is called the Time Must Have a Stop. And that uh, it's a phrase uh, from Shakespeare. And it's, uh, and also from uh, Aldous Huxley uh, stole it from Shakespeare and titled a, a book, uh, Time Must Have a Stopper. And I stole it from those guys. <laughs> <laughs> and it, uh, and, you, and you think about all the time and spa uh, space and distance and uh, time is one of those things uh, equally awesome and wondrous from which, for which we can't really say anything. So, <laughs> well, uh, try to play it. So Peter start this one.
Thank you for uh, attending this premiere performance of the Intergalactic Suite. That was uh, all the songs have some uh, degree of freedom and difficulty, and it uh, feels good to, that we did them. Thank you. Thank you. You guys played great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now we're going to take a, uh, a break, a short break, and we'll come back and play uh, a little bit more. I think. 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, if you want to hang around, you please do. I hope you will. And, and all right. Are we ready to jump in? All right, we're ready to jump in with. Uh, <laughs> we're ready to jump in with the next song called Grin and Bear It. That's the next song, so you're going to have to just <laughs> grin and bear it. It's, 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 it's a real long song, so that's <laughs> yeah, you got a warning. Uh, and this, I think we've, well, we've played this once or twice before, maybe. maybe. All right. You set? One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
Relaxing. I'll put one that's uh, it's called uh, fulfillment. That's a for a pretentious title. Uh, mm, whole different feeling. And this looks like uh, it's written in 2018. Uh, ready? I start this one. Thank you. 
continue in this uh, random set, this unthemed second set. This one uh, is uh, another this very different feeling. That was kind of a, like a, I don't know what that was. But this is a, a song written for a young child, uh, grandson, uh, his name Khalil. And this was written when he was, he was one. And now he's four. <laughs>
Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah except we yeah, had to play the melody together. Right. One time, right? Lonely Man? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to, uh, uh, what are you saying about it? I want to play the whole thing down and then do three, three stuff. Play it together, all three of yeah. us? Okay. Okay? Uh, that's okay with me. <laughs> Yep, play it on a piano. This was called Lonely Man. Thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you. Yeah, everybody took nice solos. Nice solos. We've got our final number of the evening is uh, going to be. Uh, thank you, everybody, for uh, what I call good listening, supportive, helpful listening. And good audience. It's nice to uh, have that. And we're, it makes a giant difference and couldn't happen any, without it, Individu <laughs> individually and collectively. So thank you. And uh, our last song is going to be uh, one of my uh, oldest and best friends is. Uh, his name is Otto, but he lives in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when he calls me on the phone, he says, Hi, Sonny, it's a Philadelphia calling. Mm -hmm. And then he'll, he'll leave a long message. And his last name is Brown. So this song is dedicated to this guy. They call him Philadelphia Brown. And he's had this lifelong love affair with Philadelphia. He just uh, does. He's lived other places for a little while, but winds up in Philadelphia. So this song is it's based on, uh, loosely based on the song of uh, Poinciana. The song of the tree. Uh, it's loosely based on that.
Right, do it. Two. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, and uh, thank you, uh, Tim Gilmore, and thank you, Peter Concilio. Personally, for playing my songs and uh, keeping and uh, making them sound better than uh, they would have without you. So. <laughs> and I appreciate it. And thank everybody here for helping us uh, play as a group and uh, uh, keeping the spirit alive. Thank you. So thanks for coming. Yeah. And thank you for WCTV, which is back in action.